This is the Constitution of Turkey. This Constitution, which affirms the eternal existence of the Turkish homeland and nation and the indivisible integrity of the Grand Turkish State, is entrusted for safekeeping by the Turkish nation to the patriotism and nationalism of its democracy-loving sons and daughters, is to be understood, interpreted, and implemented by its ideas, beliefs, and determination in deference and with absolute loyalty to its letter and spirit. In the direction of the concept of nationalism, as defined by Ataturk, the founder of the Republic of Turkey, the immortal leader and the unrivaled hero, and his reforms and principles, in the direction of the eternal existence, prosperity and material and spiritual well-being, and the determination to attain to the level of contemporary civilization of the Republic of Turkey, as an honorable member with equal rights of the family of the world nations, in recognition of the absolute supremacy of the will of the nation whereby sovereignty is vested fully and unconditionally in the Turkish nation and no person or institution authorized to exercise it on behalf of the nation can deviate from liberal democracy set forth in this constitution and the legal system prescribed according to its requirements. In the understanding that the separation of powers which does not imply an order of precedence among the organs of state, but is a civic division of labor and cooperation, composed of and limited to the exercise of certain state authority and duties, and that supremacy is vested solely in the Constitution and the laws. In the determination that no activity can be protected contrary to Turkish national interests, the principle of the indivisibility of the extensive of Turkey with its state and territory, Turkish historical and moral values or the nationalism, principles, reforms, and modernization of Ataturk and that as required by the principle of laicism, sacred Religious feelings can in no way be permitted to interfere with state affairs and politics. In the understanding that it, it is the birthright of every Turkish citizen to maintain an honorable life under the aegis of national culture, civilization, and the legal order, and to develop his material and spiritual assets in this direction by the exercise of the fundamental right and freedoms set forth in this constitution in accordance with the fundamental requirements of equality and social justice. In the recognition that all Turkish citizens are unified and united in national honor and pride, in national joy and grief, in their rights and duties regarding national existence, in blessings and in burdens, and in every manifestation of national life, and that they have the right to demand a peaceful life, based on absolute respect for one another, for one another's rights and one another's freedoms, with mutual sincere love and feelings of fraternity and the desire for and belief in peace at home, peace in the world. Part 1. General Principles 1. Form of the State Article 1. The Turkish State is a Republic 2. Characteristics of the Republic Article 2. The Republic of Turkey is a democratic, lake, and social state governed by the rule of law, bearing in mind the concepts of public peace, national solidarity, and justice, respecting human rights, loyal to the nationalism of Ataturk, and based on the fundamental tenets set forth in the preamble. 3. Integrity of the State, Official Language, Flag, National Anthem, and Capital. Article 3. The Turkish State, with its territory and nation, is an indivisible entity. Its language is Turkish, its flag, 
the form of which is prescribed by relevant law, is composed of a white crescent and star on a red background. Its national anthem is the Independence March. Its capital is Ankara. 5. 4. Irrevocable Provisions Article 4. The provision of Article 1 of the Constitution establishing the form of the state as a republic, the provisions in Article 2 of the characteristics of the republic, and the provisions of Article 3 cannot be amended, nor can their amendment be proposed. 5. Fundamental Aims and Duties of the State Article 5. The fundamental aims and duties of the state are to safeguard the independence and integrity of the Turkish nation, the indivisibility of the country, the republic and democracy, to ensure the welfare, peace, and happiness of the individual and society, to strive for the removal of political, social, and economic obstacles, which restrict the fundamental rights and freedoms of the individual in a manner incompatible with the principles of justice and of the social state governed by the rule of law, and to provide the conditions required for the development of the individual's material and spiritual existence. Article 6. 6. Sovereignty. Sovereignty is vested in the nation without reservation or condition. The Turkish nation exercises its sovereignty through the authorized organs as prescribed by the principles laid down in the Constitution. The right to exercise sovereignty cannot be delegated to any individual, group, or class. No person or agency can exercise any state authority which does not emanate from the Constitution. Article 7. Legislative power is vested in the Grand National Assembly of Turkey on behalf of the Turkish nation. This power cannot be delegated. Article 8. Executive power and function can be exercised and carried out by the President of the Republic and the Council of Ministers in conformity with the Constitution and the law. Article 9. Judicial power is exercised by independent courts on behalf of the Turkish nation. Article 10. Equality before the law. Individuals are equal without any discrimination before the law, irrespective of language, race, color, sex, political opinion, philosophical belief, religion, and sect, or any such considerations. No privilege can be granted to any individual, family group, or class. State organs and administrative authorities act in compliance with the principle of equality before the law in all of their proceedings. Article 11. The provisions of the Constitution are fundamental legal rules binding upon legislative, executive, and judicial organs and administrative authorities and other agencies and individuals. Laws cannot be in conflict with the Constitution. My friends, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain a little. Number one, it's free. Two, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. Anchor will then distribute your podcast for you. So it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you've ever been looking for to make a podcast in one place. Go ahead and download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Part 2. Fundamental Rights and Duties Chapter 1. General Provisions Nature and Fundamental Rights and Freedoms Article 12. Everyone possesses inherent fundamental rights and freedoms which are inviolable and inalienable. The fundamental rights and freedoms also comprise the duties and responsibilities of the individual towards the society, his family, and other individuals. 
Article 13. Fundamental rights and freedoms may be restricted only on the basis of specific reasons listed in the relevant articles of the Constitution without prejudice to the values defined therein and only by law. These restrictions cannot conflict with the latter and the spirit of the Constitution and the requirements of the democratic order of the society and Lake Republic and the principle of proportionality. Article 14. None of the rights and freedoms embodied in the Constitution can be exercised for activities undertaken with the aim of violating the indivisible integrity of the state with its territory and nation and endangering the existence of the democratic and lake republic based on human rights. No provision of the Constitution can be interpreted in the manner that would grant the state or individuals destroying the fundamental rights and freedoms embodied in the Constitution or staging an activity with the aim of restricting rights and freedoms more extensively than is stated in the Constitution. The sanctions to be applied against those who undertake activities in conflict with these provisions are prescribed by law. The suspensions of the exercise of fundamental rights and freedoms. Article 15. In times of war, mobilization, martial law, or state of emergency, the exercise of fundamental rights and freedoms can be partially or entirely suspended or measures may be taken to the extent required by the exigencies of the situation which der derogate the guarantees embodied in the Constitution, provided that obligations under international law are not violated. Even under the, the circumstances indicated in the first paragraph, the individual's right to life and the integrity of his material and spiritual entity can be, can in be inviolable except where death occurs through lawful act of warfare and execution of death sentences. No one may be compelled to reveal his religion, conscience, thought, or opinion, nor may be accused on account of them. Offenses and penalties may not be made retroactive, nor may anyone be held guilty until so proven by a court judgment. Status of Aliens Article 16 The fundamental rights and freedoms of aliens may be restricted by law in a manner consistent with international law. Chapter 2 Rights and Duties of the Individual The personal, inviolable, material, and spiritual entity of the individual. Article 17 Everyone has a right to life and the right to protect and develop his material and spiritual entity. The physical integrity of the individual cannot be violated except under medical necessity and in cases prescribed by law, and cannot be subjected to scientific or medical experiments without his consent. No one can be subjected to torture or ill treatment. No one can be subjected to penalties or treatments incompatible with human dignity. The cases such as the execution of death penalties under court sentences, the act of killing in self-defense, the occurrences of death as a result of the use of a weapon permitted by law as a necessary measure during apprehension, the execution of warrants of arrest, the prevention of the escape of a lawfully arrested or convicted persons, the quelling of riot or insurrection, or carrying out the order of authorized bodies during the martial law or state of emergency are outside of the scope of the provisions of article paragraph 1 the prohibition of forced labor article 18 no one may be forced to work forced labor is prohibited work required of an individual while serving a prison sentence or under detention services required from citizens during a state of emergency and a physical or intellectual work necessitated by the requirements of the country as a civic obligation do not come under the description of forced labor, provided that the form and condition of such labors are prescribed by law. Personal Liberty and Security Article 19 
everyone has the right to liberty and security of person. No one can be deprived of, by his, of his liberty except in the following cases where procedures and conditions are prescribed by law. The execution of sentences restricting liberty and the implementation of security measures decided by court order, apprehension or detention of an individual in line with a court ruling or an obligation upon him designated by law, execution of an order for the purpose of the educational supervision of a minor or for bringing him or her before the component authority execution of measures taken in conformity with the relevant legal provision for the treatment education or correction in institutions of a person of sound mind an alcoholic or drug addict or vagrant or a person spreading contagious diseases when such person constitute a danger to the public apprehension or detention of a person who enters or attempts to enter illegally into the country or for whom a deportation or extradition order has been issued individuals against whom there is a strong evidence of having committed an offense can be arrested by decision of a judge solely for the purposes of preventing escape or preventing the destruction or alteration of evidence as well as in similar other circumstances which necessitate detention and are prescribed by law. Apprehension of a person without a decision by a judge can be resorted to only in cases when a person is caught in the act of committing an offense or in cases where delay is likely to thwart the course of justice. The conditions for such apprehension are defined by law. Individuals arrested or detained are promptly notified and in all cases in writing or orally when the former is not possible of the grounds for their arrest or detention and the charges made against them in cases of offense committed collectively this notification are made at the latest before the individual is brought before a judge the person arrested or detained or are brought before a judge within 48 hours and in the case of offenses committed collectively within four days excluding the time taken to send the individual to the court nearest to the place of arrest. No one can be deprived of his liberty without the decision of a judge after the expiry of the above specified periods. These periods may be extended during a state of emergency, under martial law, or in time of war. Notification of the situation of the person arrested or detained is made to the next of kin immediately persons under detention have the right to request to be tried within a reasonable time or to be released during investigation or prosecution. Release may be made conditional to the presentation of an appropriate guarantee with a view of securing the presence of the person at the trial proceedings and the execution of the court sentence. Persons deprived of their liberty under any circumstances are entitled to apply to the appropriate judicial authority for speedy conclusion of the proceedings regarding the situation of their releases and if the restriction is placed upon them that is not lawful. Damages suffered by persons subjected to treatment contrary to the above provisions is compensated by the state according to the general principles of the law on compensation. Privacy and Protection of Private Life Privacy of the Individual Life Article 20 Everyone has the right to demand respect for his private and family life. Privacy of an individual or a family cannot be violated unless there exists a decision duly passed by a judge on one or several of the grounds of national security, public order, prevention of offenses, protection of public health, and public morals, or for the protection of the rights and freedoms of others, or unless there exists a written order of a competent authority designated by law in cases where delay is prejudicial. Again, on the above-mentioned grounds, neither the person nor the private papers nor belongings of an individual can be searched, nor can they be seized. 
The decision of the competent authority is submitted for the approval of the judge having jurisdiction within 24 hours. The judge proclaims his decision within 48 hours from the time of seizure. Otherwise, seizures automatically cease. Article 21. The domicile of an individual cannot be violated unless there exists a duly dispassed decision by a judge on one or several of the grounds of national security, public health, prevention of offenses, protection of public health, and public morals, or for the protection of the rights and freedoms of others, or unless there exists a written order of a competent authority designated by law. In cases where delay is prejudicial, again, on the above-mentioned grounds, no domicile may be entered or searched or the property therein seized. The decision of the competent authority is submitted for the approval of the judge having jurisdiction within 24 hours. The judge proclaims his decision within 48 hours from the time of seizure. Otherwise, the seizure automatically ceases. Article 22. Everyone has a right to freedom of communication. Secrecy of communication is fundamental. Unless there exists a decision duly passed by a judge on one or several of the grounds of national security, public order, prevention of offenses, protection of public health, and public moral, or for the protection of the rights and freedoms of others, or cases where delay is prejudicial, again on the above-mentioned grounds, communication cannot be impeded nor its secrecy be violated. The decision of the competent authority is submitted for the approval of the judge having jurisdiction within 24 hours. The judge proclaims his decision within 48 hours. Otherwise, the decision of the competent authority automatically ceases. Public establishments or institutions where exceptions to the above may be applied are determined by law. Article 23. Everyone has the right to freedom of residence and movement. Freedom of residence may be restricted by law for the purpose of preventing offenses, promoting social and economic development, ensuring sound and orderly urban growth, and protecting public property. Freedom of movement may be restricted by law for the purpose of investigation and prosecution of an offense and the prevention of offenses. A citizen's freedom to leave the country may be restricted on account of civic obligations or criminal investigation or prosecution. Citizens may not be deported or deprived of their right of entry to their homeland. Freedom of Religion and Conscience Article 24 Everyone has the right to freedom of conscience, religious belief, and conviction. Acts of worship Religious services and ceremonies can be conducted freely, provided that they do not violate the provision of Article 14. No one can be compelled to worship or to participate in a religious ceremony, rights to reveal his religious beliefs and convictions, or be blamed or accused because of his religious beliefs and convictions. Education and instruction in religion and ethics are conducted under state supervision and control. Instruction in religious culture and ethics education are compulsory in the curricula of primary and secondary schools. Other religious education and instruction are subject to the individual's own desire, and in the case of minors, to the request of their legal representatives. No one can be allowed to exploit or abuse religion or religious feelings or things held sacred by religion in any manner whatsoever for even partially basing the fundamental social, economic, political, and legal order of the state on religious tenets or for the purpose of obtaining political or personal benefit and influence. Article 25 Everyone has the right to freedom and thought and opinion. No one can be compelled to reveal his thoughts and opinions for any reason or for any purpose, nor can anyone be blamed or accused on account of his thoughts and opinions. Freedom of Expression and Dissemination of Thought Article 26 Everyone has the right to express and disseminate his thoughts and opinions by speech, in writing or in pictures or through other media, individually or collectively.
This right includes the freedom to receive and impart information and ideas without interference from official authorities. This provision does not preclude subjecting transmission by radio, television, cinema, and similar means to a system of licensing. The exercise of these freedoms may be restricted for the purposes of protecting the national security, the public order and public safety, the basic characteristics of the republic, and safeguarding the indivisible integrity of the state with its territory and nation, preventing offenses, punishing offenders, withholding information duly classified as a state secret, protecting the reputation and rights and private and family life of others, or protecting professional secrets as prescribed by law, or ensuring the proper functioning of the judiciary. Provisions regulating the use of, of means of disseminating information and ideas cannot be interpreted as a restriction of the freedom of expression and dissemination unless they prevent the dissemination of information and thought. The formalities, conditions, and procedures to be applied in the exercise of the freedoms of expression and dissemination of thought are prescribed by law. Article 27. Everyone has the right to study and teach, explain and disseminate science and arts, and to carry out research in these fields entirely. The right to disseminate cannot be exercised for the purpose of changing the provisions of Article 1, 2, and 3 of this Constitution. The provisions of this article do not preclude regulation by law of the entry and distribution of foreign publications in the country. Article 28. The press is free and cannot be censored. The establishment of a printing house cannot be subject to prior permission or the deposit of a financial guarantee. The state takes the necessary measures to ensure freedom of the press and freedom of information. In the applicable restriction of freedom of the press, Articles 26 and 27 of the Constitution are applicable. Anyone who writes or prints any news or articles which threaten the internal or external security of the state or the indivisible integrity of the state with its territory and nation, which tend to incite offense, riot, or insurrection, or which refer to classified state secrets, and anyone who prints or transmits such news or articles to others for the above purposes are held responsible under the law relevant to these offenses. Distribution may be suspended as a preventative measure by a decision of a judge, or in cases delayed and deemed prejudicial, by the order of the component authority designated by law. The competent authority suspending distribution notifies a competent judge of its decision within 24 hours at the latest. The order suspending distribution becomes null and void unless upheld by a competent judge within 48 hours at the latest. No ban can be placed on the reporting of events except by the decision of a judge issued to ensure proper function of the judiciary within the limits specified by law. Periodical and non-periodical peri uh, publications may be seized by a decision of a judge in cases of ongoing investigation or prosecution of offenses determined by law, and in cases delayed is deemed prejudicial with regard to the indivisible integrity of the state, with its territory and nation, national security, public order, protection of public morals, and for the prevention of the offenses by the order of the competent authority explicitly designated by law. The authority issuing the seizure orders notifies a competent judge of its decision within 24 hours at the latest. The seizure order becomes null and void unless upheld by the competent judge within 48 hours. The general common provisions apply when seizure and confiscation of periodicals and non-periodicals for reasons of criminal investigation and prosecution takes place. Periodical publications in Turkey may be temporarily suspended by court sentence if found guilty of publishing material 
which contravenes the indivisible integrity of the state with its territory and nation. The fundamental principles of the republic, national security, and public morals. Any publication which clearly bears the characteristics of being the continuation of the suspended periodical is prohibited and seized by a decision of the judge. Article 29. Publication of periodicals or non-periodicals cannot be subject to prior authorization or deposit of a financial guarantee. To publish a periodical, it suffices to submit the information and documents prescribed by law to the competent authority designated by law. If the information and documents submitted are found to be in contravention of law, the competent authority applies to the appropriate court for suspension of publication. The publication of periodicals, the conditions of publication, the financial resources, and the rules relevant to the profession of journalism are regulated by law. The law does impose any does impose any political, economic, financial, and technical conditions, thus obstructing or making difficult the free dissemination of news, thought, or beliefs. Periodicals do have equal access to the means and facilities of the state, other public entities, and their agencies. Article 30. A printing press or its annexes duty duly established as publishing house under law cannot be seized, confiscated, or barred from operation on the grounds of being an instrument of crime, except in cases where offenses against the inv indivisible integrity of the state with its territory and nation, against the fundamental principles of the republic, or against national security leading to conviction are involved. Article 31. Individuals and political parties have the right to use mass media and means of communication other than the press owned by public legal entities. The conditions and procedures for such use are regulated by law. The law does not impose restrictions preventing the public from receiving information or accessing ideas and opinions through these media or preventing public opinion from being freely formed on the grounds other than public national security public order, the protection of public morals, and public health. Article 32. The right to rectify and reply can be accorded only in cases where personal reputation and honor is attacked, or in cases of unfounded allegations, and this is regulated by law. If a rectification or reply is not published, the judge decides within seven days of application by the individual involved whether or not this publication is required. Article 33. Everyone has the right to form associations without prior permission and to become a member in them or to withdraw from membership. No one can be compelled to become or remain a member of an association. Freedom of association may only be restricted by law and on the grounds of national security, public order, prevention of offense, public health and public morals, and for the protection of freedoms of others. The formalities, conditions, and procedures governing the exercise of freedom of association are prescribed by law. Associations may be dissolved or suspended from activity by the decision of a judge in cases prescribed by law. However, if in cases where national security, public order, the prevention or the continuation of an offense, or the apprehension of the authority to suspend the association from activity, the decision of this authority is submitted to approval of the judge on duty within 24 hours. The judge proclaims his decision within 48 hours. Otherwise, this administrative decision automatically ceases to be effective. Provisions of, on the first paragraph do not prevent imposition by law of restrictions on members of the armed forces and security forces officials and civil servants to the extent that the duties of civil servants so require. The provisions of this article are also applicable to foundations. Article 34. Everyone has the right to hold unarmed and peaceful meetings and demonstration marches without prior permission. The right to hold meetings and demonstration marches can only be restricted by law on the grounds of national security, public order, prevention of offense, protection of public health and public morals, or the right and freedoms of others. 
the formalities, conditions, and procedures governing the exercise of the right to hold meetings and demonstration marches are prescribed by law. Article 35. Everyone has the right to own an inherent property. These rights may be limited by law only in view of public interest. The exercise of the right to own property cannot be in contravention to the public interest. Article 36. Freedom to Claim Rights Everyone has the right of litigation either as plaintiff or defendant and the right to a fair trial before the courts through lawful means and procedures. No court can refuse to hear a case within its jurisdiction. Article 37. No one may be tried by any judicial authority other than the legally designated court. Extraordinary tribunals with jurisdiction that would in effect remove a person from the jurisdiction of his legally designated court cannot be established.